Nessus agents are a great solution for organizations that have issues with credential management, dynamic assets, hardened systems, and low bandwidth, high latency environments such as VPN or Satlink. Think of a Nessus agent as a microtized Nessus scanner that is installed on each host. They are successful at attaining vulnerability information because they run on the local host instead of requiring credentialed access from a Nessus scanner to the target. This is critical in getting vulnerability data that is otherwise difficult or unobtainable due to DHCP, firewall rules, or transient assets. Instead of having to keep up with the changing credentials and moving assets, the scan is performed on the local host and egressed back to the Nessus manager. Another advantage of Nessus agents is on the deployment of hardened assets. Consider a Windows machine, which requires items such as the remote registry to be enabled for a fully credentialed scan. You can now eliminate these requirements, which would otherwise be difficult due to organizational security policies. The agents really shine in low bandwidth, high latency environments. A traditional Nessus scan by default makes connections to multiple assets at once while running hundreds of checks simultaneously. A regular network usually has no issue handling this load, and the scans can be configured to back off if latency is detected. For organizations using VPN and satellite connections, this may not necessarily be feasible because the infrastructure simply cannot effectively support the scanning process across its links. This is where the agent comes into play. By enumerating vulnerabilities on each host, the traffic across the network is greatly reduced. In addition, the Nessus agents only receive the plugins that are applicable for the host they are installed on. This makes the vulnerability results much smaller than you would normally see in a fully credentialed Nessus scan. It is important to note that the Nessus agents only do local checks, so you will still need to do uncredentialed sweeps of the network to enumerate remote vulnerabilities on the assets. In order to use Nessus agents with Security Center, you will need to employ a Nessus manager to act as a proxy between the agent and Security Center. This screen is what a typical Nessus manager with scan jobs looks like. The learning curve is low, and you should be able to pick up on its operation fairly quickly. The agent scan job differs from a traditional Nessus scan. A Nessus scanner requires that all assets be online during the time of the scan. A Nessus agent, however, is installed on the asset. So instead, you set a time window within Nessus Manager. This time window can be any of the defined values or a custom value. Before scanning, you will need to set your agents up in groups within Nessus Manager. This can be done at the time of deployment or within the Nessus Manager GUI after linking the agents. For this example, I will use my test group. The Nessus agents periodically talk back to the Nessus Manager requesting a job. Once a job has started in Nessus Manager, any agent that talks back within that time window will know to complete its vulnerability or compliance scan and egress the report back to the Nessus Manager. The agents are an egress-only technology, and the Nessus Manager cannot force a scan to start without the agent checking in. The agent scan jobs can be scheduled to run at whatever interval your organization requires. You can even add agent scan jobs in the Security Center. By doing this, Security Center will import the results from Nessus Manager at user-defined intervals so you will have the most up-to-date agent information correlated with the rest of your intelligence within Security Center. Note, this does not cause Nessus Manager to kick off an agent scan from Security Center, but instead just imports the data in Nessus Manager from your agent scans. The agents are capable of running both vulnerability and compliance scanning. Here is an example of a vulnerability scan. As you can see, it looks very similar to the vulnerability analysis you currently see in Security Center. Here is an example of a STIG compliance scan. 